Welcome back friends. In this video, we will going to talk about Harshay and Chess experiment. So this will going to be the third video of our Road to CSI and Net video lecture series where we will going to specifically talk about various kind of experiments that is important in from the life science background that you should know if you are a CSI and Net life science aspirant. So let's get started. So in 1952, there was two scientists, Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase. Among them, Alfred Hershey was a man and Martha Chase was a woman. Conducted a series of experiments to prove that the DNA was the genetic material. Okay, that means it is the DNA that is passed from the parental generation to the progeny. Okay, that is the aim of the experiment. Right, to prove that the DNA was the genetic material and here also the year is important all the CSIR do not ask years but if you are also a great life science aspirant then the years are also important for you now they uses a T2 bacteriophage virus which infect bacteria now if we focus on the term bacteriophage so it consists of two terms bacterio Bacteria means bacteria and phage means eating. Okay, that means this kind of back the viruses are the viruses that eats bacteria. Okay, and virus are made up of DNA and a protein code and were able to transfer their genetic material into the host. Now let's look at how bacteria looks like. So bacteria have a protein code just like that and inside this protein coat it will have its genetic material so here I have mentioned this genetic material with the green color that is most of the cases DNA in terms of bacteriophage but if we talk about other viruses you can also get RNA as your genetic material for example your HIV virus okay so this red color part are protein and this green color part are DNA okay now now it is necessary to understand how bacteria are infected by bacteriophage okay so first of all this is the bacteriophage that will inject its genetic material inside the bacteria okay and those genetic material first will hijack the host cell machinery and then it will use host cell machinery to form more progeny viruses okay and that is the idea of how virus infects bacteria okay so as you can see that here genetic material is dna that we have to prove but when Hershey and chase conducted the experiment they they were they don't know about this okay so they are just looking for what part of the viruses will be inside bacteria okay so how we can do this let's see so for determining this they radio level to important component of the virus okay now how a particular virus or bacteria can be radio labeled? We have already seen in Mason's style experiment that for radio labeling any kind of viral component or any kind of bacterial component, you have to grow them in a culture that will contain that specific type of radio labeled molecule. Okay, so here we are using two radio labeled isotopes one is 35S, another one is 32P. Okay. So there are two experimental setups. In the first one, we have grown viruses in radioactive sulfur. Okay, and in another setup, let's say this was the setup number one, where we have grown viruses in radioactive sulfur. In second setup, we have also another set of viruses where we have grown them in radioactive phosphorus. Okay, so. Now, why we have used radioactively level sulfur and radioactively level phosphorus? So, 
so i think you know that dna backbone is made up of phosphorus right so if we grow viruses repeatedly in a radioactive phosphorus containing medium then the backbone of the dna will be leveled with radioactively leveled phosphorus okay now why we are using sulfur so i think you have heard about sulfur containing amino acid and i can also expect that you know that amino acid is the building block of the protein okay so we can expect that the protein should contain some sulfur containing amino acid okay so if we grow viruses in a radioactively sulfur containing medium then the sulfur containing amino acid will be radio leveled and as a result your protein will be radio leveled okay so in experimental setup 1 your proteins are radio level and in experimental setup 2 your dna's are radio level okay so in f number 1 setup you have now allowed your viruses to infect bacteria okay and after that you have performed centrifugation okay and as a result all the large bacteria will form a solid pellet okay at the bottom of the test tube okay and at the top you will have smaller viruses as a supernatural okay so now when you check for radioactivity in case of experimental setup one you will get radioactivity at the supernatural not in the pellet okay but in case of experimental setup two you will get opposite result that means in that time there will be no radioactivity at the supernatural but there will be radioactivity at the bottom of the tube okay what does it mean that simply means that virus have injected their genetic material inside a bacteria now why we are considering that what virus have injected inside the bacteria will be its genetic material so the idea is as we can see that from the bacteria further progeny viruses are generating so it is obvious that virus injecting something that ultimately play a role to produce progeny viruses that is why we are considering the material as the genetic material that is injected by viruses into bacteria okay clear and that is why we can conclude that protein is not the genetic material dna is the genetic material protein remains outside the bacterial cell but dna enters inside the bacterial cell hijack the host cell machinery and then uses the host cell machinery to produce more progeny viruses okay so that is the concept of Hershey and Chase experiment okay that help us to understand that DNA was the genetic material so that is the end of this video so in the next video we will going to talk about Frederick Griffith's experiment okay so although we will not going to discuss about any kind of MCQ now but after the completion of the Frederick Griffith experiment and Avery McLeod and McCarthy's experiment, we will going to solve some MCQ. Okay, so thank you for listening to this class and if it will be helpful for you, so then please like the video, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that. Thank you.